Good morning, it is the 10th of August 2020 and it's four minutes past 11 and we've left the campsite, we are on the way to Sandringham. Sandringham. There's a campsite in Sandringham, yeah. yeah. Campsite on Sandringham. Um, but we are still in, well it's shiny and bright, uh, we are still haven't done much of it in fact I don't think I've done any video today I've had a slight day off because it's a bit tiring all this video business time you video time you then edit it on your laptop and pick out bits and add music and then blah 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 blah, blah. that takes a while then you've got to save it that takes ages on my laptop then if you've got 4G because we're tethering from my phone Uploading it to um, YouTube takes about 10,000 billion zillion hours every night And it's a bit tiring, but anyway, so And we didn't go anywhere, we got up late and didn't go anywhere today Yeah, we got up late and we've just driven here to Sandring Sandringham Caravan and Motorhome Club Sandringham Estate Sandringham Estate Caravan and Motorhome Club site Really nice site um, it's got all the usual facilities. Don't really need to go into all that, do we? It's quite no. a big, quite a big site. Oh, you haven't finished. You haven't put your dinghy away. Um, we were going to have a barbecue, but then we heard the chip, sh the fish and chip van. Um, so we got that instead. Um, which is what we're about to have. Yeah, my before it gets cold. Oh, yeah. Um, that's about it today. Yeah, we got stuck in a load of traffic jams coming down whatever road it was. A fifty two, was it? The A fifty two. It was like ridiculous and it's absolutely baking hot. The, the heat's started to go now, but yeah, so having a day off really. So see you tomorrow. Bye. Cheers ears. Tuesday in it. Right, morning. It is Tuesday the 11th. It could be the 11th, I don't know, of um, August 2020. Oh, there's a spider just gone up behind the thing. Um, yes, I was so knackered last night. We just like flopped, and it's so hot you would not believe it. It's like, oh my god. Um, so this is the next morning. So just going to go for a little walk. Uh, there is like a woodland behind us. So let me just turn you around. So there's the Colster. That's not. Um, quite a big campsite. How many pictures did you see there was? Oh, Don't know. It's another, another big it's, yeah, it's quite a few. It's, it's quite big, anyway. Um, so we're at the farthest bit. And we're going down that one, are we? That path? I'm going that way, yeah. Oh, well, where was you going to go? Well, there's another way in now. Oh, well, we're here now. We'll this one. Then. Right, we'll go this one. Um, so, we haven't got the super pitch, but it was whatever was left. Uh, how much was it? 27, I think. Something like that. Um, really nice site. We would come back here again. Uh, really friendly staff. Had a bit of a chat with them. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we uh, got here, I don't know, about one, two o'clock. It's quite early for us. And uh, so like all the CNM sites, I think, you basically get a map and they say, oh, choose any site that hasn't got anything on it or choose any of the white sites or whatever. Oh, dog's mess there. Um, so, found a nice little one, and uh, so you had to go down like normal, tell them, oh no, more dog's mess. Oh, if you do come here and you go on the walks behind the thing, watch where you're walking. Goes, he goes down and tells the 
people at the desk, which one we got, and they said, oh, they should have put a mark on there, somebody's got that one. So, comes all the way back, found another one a few doors down, and uh, next thing, Warden's coming back up, I think, yeah. um, and he's got his missus on the phone on his walkie tour he's saying oh no they've just the people who've um got that pitch have just come come in and said they've moved pitches but they forgot to tell us so we went all the way back to that original pitch i actually preferred the other pitch we went to but anyway so that's that uh so today's plan oh, i keep saying plans they don't always they don't always work out do they uh, today's plan is we've got one AA box to find and then we've got lots of hairs to find hopefully we do and know then, depending on what time it is how long we spend looking at the hairs we can go down towards Sheringham or Chroma Sheringham or Chroma right okay um yes I know I know we said we were going to look for hairs at North Yorkshire. North York was because we knew a field there, but with the events we didn't. So we know another field in Norfolk where there's usually loads of them. Dep but it all depends on what crops in the field. Yeah. You get there. If, they, if they haven't harvested it and it's too high, then you won't see anything. But usually one field's different to the other, so yeah. you might get one. Anyway, we shall see. But we want to tell you where it is. So there we go. That's Norfolk Lavender. The big shop down here is, is down here. We've been in there before. <laughs> We're not going there again. Oh. It's too early. Oh, I know. Slow spot. Okay, so we've driven not very far along the sort of like north coast of Norfolk sort of road. Um, to Brancaster AA box at Brancaster. A bit cobwebby. <laughs> so this is our last AA box for a while. We got two more to find and they're in Wales and that's it. We found them all. Like we said before, there are some in various museums but probably there's not there's one in Northern Ireland and one in Jersey. Yeah. So this is the last AA box for a while. Well, that's a bit annoying. We pulled in at our secret location for hares, and uh, but they've changed the fields around. So there's now piggies camping on one field, and the other one's been played with nothing on it. And, and normally it's full of short grass. And there's people in tractors, so we thought better not pull in. So we just looked at somewhere else. So we're going to try. We can say where this one is. Um, I've forgotten already. Little Snoring Airfield. Little Snoring Airfield apparently has got hairs, um, so we're going to try there. Wish us luck. Not having much luck in the hair hunt. hunt. Um, yes. Given up on the, the air field because a lot of the roads said it was private and it'd be sod's law that we see a hair in a field and we can't like go in and get a little bit closer or you know what I mean so we are now making our way to Sharing them and then Chroma Sharing yeah. eh? Sharing them and then Chroma yeah you're and there the and to the campsite which is what's the campsite it's uh, White Horse no that's tomorrow oh. it's uh, just called Norfolk Roads there you go Caravan and motor home club, so it's near Rocks. So. Near Rocks, um, okay. I do love Norfolk. Today's getting on my nerves. <laughs> um, no hairs anywhere. Then we went to oh, which was Sher Sheringham and then Cromer in the middle of the day when it's really hot. And there's loads of people because it's a hot day and that's what people do. So, yep, yeah, skip through those couldn't find anywhere to stop and it's so flipping hot it's unbelievable <laughs> then now we've decided to look for a barbecue a titty little barbecue we saw a little barbecue in go outdoors in plymouth months ago and i'm 
knew we should have got it we didn't and now we've decided oh we'll get one so we called in it being cute you no know, god <sighs> go outdoors we're in norwich now go outdoors in norwich no they just have these massive great big gas ones um so now we've just found b and q dave the sat nav took us all around the houses to get here when it was just just here <laughs> thanks dave anyway so leon's gone into b and q i can't take any more of it it's too hot with a mask on i'm nearly flaking out in all the shops it's horrible anyway so yes it's been a bit of a waste of a day so we've just basically gone from going from campsite to campsite and that's it so sorry bye going for a little walk but uh, all those people um, it's got it's got all the stuff you'd expect from one of these sites laundry toilets and showers chemical waste point wastewater drinking water emptying your dirty water thing how many how many pitches Oh, I'm trying to think how many we counted. We counted up to the 80s, I think it was, I think, didn't we? Yeah. Hmm. So we're on 50 on ours, and we're only in the second, halfway around the second one, so it must be about 100. Okay. Because there's another little odd half bit in there. Alright. Um, did you say there was like a little shop or something? Um, out on the street. Oh, out right, on the street. So, anyway, um, picked up a little leaflet about a castle. What's the castle called? It's an abbey. An abbey, sorry. <laughs> What's the abbey called? <laughs> Bennett's. St. Bennett's. St. Bennett's Abbey, which is about a, a mile away. About a mile away. And there are shops just out here, and there's a stream or something in a river. There's a cafe and a gift shop. Uh, the river, and like a little chandler's for the boat. <sighs> God, it's so hot. What's the river? I honestly don't know. Oh. Um, well, the bridge is Ludden Bridge. Maybe it's the River Lud. I don't think so. No, okay. Um, we'll have a look and you can put it in little letters on the Yeah, well. I could do We've that. We've come about I'm two centimetres from the campsite. So this is the bri Ludden Bridge. Ludden Bridge, and this is the River Ant. So that's one side. And I don't know if you can see, but the Abbey is like 10,000 billion miles away over there. It's like one mile away. It's not, it's not one mile away, it's 10,000 billion miles away. Over, uh, sort of there. And oh. that's the other side. The big blue one. Oh my god, they're just horrible. I've been attacked twice by dragonflies, so I just, oh. This is a little pondy thing. You still there? There's hundreds of swallows swooping around. Oh, and there. I don't know if that's a marsh harrier down there. We also saw a marsh harrier earlier. And I've just seen a, a bird of prey down there. Yeah, it was 10 billion miles. There's uh, reed, did you say reed bunting? Yeah. Reed bunting all the way along, uh, swallows and, I need to say Amazons, swallows and house martins um, as well. Lots of j big juicy dragonflies and some people. I don't know if that's going to come out, but it's quite a nice reflection of it in the water. So there's a windmill there. And the remains of an abbey. So. It's just a bit of the gatehouse left. Okay, getting a bit closer to it so you can see where they built the windmill onto the abbey. And then a bit further on there's a cross 
and three bits. I don't know what they are. I don't know actually. I thought that was a bit closer. Oh, my poor knees. And there you've got the river ant again. And this side you've got like a little bit of what do you call it? Little bits of water sort of a uh, fen? Do you call it a fen? Oh I don't know. Uh, um along there and every, everywhere you walk every so often um ooh, uh reed buntings just fly out and fly off. So you can see, hopefully you can see, oops, mind the stinging nettles, that the bits of abbey closest to us is made up of flint, which is uh, um, quite common in this area to have your houses and old houses and buildings and churches, churches made of used uh, flint to make them. And then you've got your windmill made of brick. I don't know if you can go in. Oh, looks like you can. Here's a bit of information. If you want to read it, you can pause. And that's what it would have looked like. Well, let's come back a bit. Okay, so now we're a little bit closer. I can see now this was the wall that went around it. And then we can go in here. Oh, got some bees. Ooh! Things that always look better with a blue sky. Let's me go back a bit. So there's the wall. Obviously, there's the windmill. Don't need to put that, point that out. And there's bits of the abbey. It's beautiful. It's still boiling hot though. Well, Leon's just informed me it's 10 degrees cooler in there. I might have to go in. Okay, let's go inside the windmill. Oh. Oh. oh my god. You don't know where to look. Ah. dark bits of flint and lots yeah. of um, graffiti, yeah. old graffiti and stuff. Yeah, 1810. Really? Where? Down there, HI 26th something, 1810. Uh, where? Yeah. 1810. Or was it 1816? Oh, it could be 1816, I don't know. Well, it's still old, isn't it? <sighs> Yeah, so up, up there, this looks like an archer or something. And then the other side is definitely an animal. I'm assuming it's a deer. I can't really see the top of it, actually. You can see its legs. Oopsie. Well, there. This is the gatehouse of St. Bennett's Abbey. Um, it's unusual in that it wasn't dissolved by Henry VIII when he trashed all the other monasteries because he'd done a deal with the Bishop of Norwich and took some other lands instead. But it eventually fell into disuse about 1545. That's about quarter to four. And then in the 18th century, a windmill was built 
it was easy to build the windmill here because they didn't have to do foundations because they were already here. So they just reused the shell to give it a bit of support. Okay, so I might have told you wrong. Behind us, what we've just been in, where the windmill was, it wasn't the abbey. Well, it was part of the abbey, it, it was, was just the gatehouse. The gatehouse. But we're walking down to the abbey bit now. Is that right? What's left? Where, there? Yeah, obviously, with where the cross is. Most that's the, the that's the abbey. Most of the stone got taken away. Yeah. And reused. A bit more of the river out there with some boats on. Pfft, ugh, fly. Uh, I don't know if you can see. There's two windmills in the distance there. Um, I don't know if they're too far away or whether it's just a little bit too hazy fantasy to, for you to see but they're windmills with still got their wings on retold by William Henry Cook. Many years ago, in the reign of King Henry I, there was a young monk of the Abbey named Edwin, who wanted to follow his own will with an easy conscience. The godly discipline of the Abbey was irksome to him. Many were the chastisements which is unsatisfactory. Okay, so this cross marks the spot where the high altar was. It's from a oak tree from Sandringham, ah. protected by the Queen that blew down in the storms in 1987. All right. All right, we need to stop making our way back now because... So, what? So I look on Google Earth for the road or do you want to go the pathway? I have no idea. Whichever's easiest, whichever's quickest. Yeah. Just seen a hare in a field over there. Um, but it's far too far away for you lot to see with this camera. Yeah. So we saw we seen the hare, monk jack deer, yeah. eh? Chinese water deer, yeah. Um, what birds? Bunting, reed bunting. Just seen some goldfinches, which we've got loads of in our garden. Uh, a lot of warblers, yeah. LBJs, that's little brain jobs or little black jobs, um, and lots of other stuff which I can't actually remember now because it's nearly seven o'clock and I'm knackered. No way was that a mile away, so 